guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd come in really quickly and do another video dedicated to getting organized. Uh, today's video is five tips to declutter Lina. your space and kind of like a clean slate to start now and staying organized. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Tip number one, clean your computer and your phone. What I mean by that is go through your... Hi. Nobody needs to see your boobies. We're still a little sick. So what I mean by that is just go through your computer, see what files you need, what you're not gonna need. Just trash those, clean up your your uh, computer, and then if you do think you're gonna need them, then you can go ahead and organize them in a folder. And then uh, my phone, I'm so dependent on my phone now for pictures and videos, like to store them, but it's happened before that you have to restart your phone and somehow it's not backed up, so now you're left with a phone with no pictures. So I've gone ahead and saved those into USB. Not only does it give me more storage on my phone, but also playing it safe, half your photos and videos saved somewhere else. Another side tip for this one, um, if you are one that has a bunch of, oh, gracias, that has a bunch of um, photo albums and stuff and you really wanna get, uh, um, you really want to get rid of them, which you can actually scan those photos now and have them on your phone. Then you can go ahead and uh, um, put them in a USB. So really consider that if you want to get rid of album, photo albums and make some more room or just have less stuff in your house. Tip number two for your closet. Now, I know this is a big one. It was a big one for me, um, for David and I. So really go through your closet, just rummage through it and make your piles. I had five piles, sell, donate, keep, trash, and unsure. So I went through that and just, hey. So I we already did a, through a yard sale at my mom's. <laughs> and I got rid of a lot of things. And then also I did put some stuff on OfferUp. I don't know if you're familiar with that app, but it's just kind of, you post pictures of your stuff and then you get different offers and then either you get drop it off or pick it up, whatever. But yeah, so I did sell a lot of stuff also on OfferUp. And then I do have other stuff that I would like to donate. And then the unsure pile that just stays there and I kind of go through it one more time and fit it through it within the other four piles. I just give myself a little more time to think about if I want, to, want it or not. And then a side tip for this one, something that somebody suggested once and I thought it was pretty darn cool um, and could be really useful is to have your, so when you hang your clothes, you have the hook facing in and then you, after you wash it, you hang it back up um, facing out. So that way when you're going through your stuff, you know what clothes you wear and what you don't wear. But because my OCD, I couldn't do that. I needed all my hangers facing in. So I couldn't do that one, but if it helps you, go ahead. That's just a side tip for you. Tip number three, a lot of us have um, like storage containers or big bags or boxes of stuff or just drawers of stuff. So before you go into these, kind of think, like try to remember what's in there before you open it. If you open it and you totally forgot about half the stuff in there, you don't need it. So you just made your job easier and you know that you don't need it, just throw it out. That's something that really worked for me. I had a bunch of stuff in this whole drawer and I'm like, and I thought to myself like, what is, I didn't even know what was in there before I opened it. And I was going through it and I'm like, I didn't even know that I had it. So yeah, really visualize, excuse me, sir. Really visualize what you think is in there and you'll see how much more you have than you actually think and how much more room is taking up. So tip number four, so everything you do keep, you need a place for it. 
if something does not have a place, it will end up on your dinner table. It will end up in the junk drawer. It will end up in on just your countertop. It will end up everywhere because it does not have a place. So by you giving everything a place, if you find, find it somewhere, instead of just leaving it in that drawer or leaving it here. So something without a place will end up everywhere hi hi give me a hug tip number five is don't make it a seasonal thing or a yearly thing to like go through your closet or go through go through your stuff like really do it on a daily basis so for example for david he's growing out of his clothes like crazy so we do have a storage container in which after i do laundry if something looks like it doesn't fit him anymore, I put it in that storage container instead of putting it back in his closet. So that way it's in the storage container rather than filling up his closet. Then when it's time to clean it out, I already know what he doesn't wear. So yeah, those are five easy tips just to get you started, get you on a roll, uh, to getting organized and staying organized. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.